refresher. Um, okay, yes, Gabby will not be with us. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, all right. I will mark her absent and we'll mark Jeff in when he comes. All right. Okay. Um, oh, got it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can we can go ahead and get started um, with the three of us. So, um, you know, we sent out that communication to the town um, newsletter. Was that published in the school newsletter as well? I don't believe that it was actually. Okay, well, maybe maybe we could just sneak it in one at some point here. Yeah, totally. Um, and then, so the, the things that we were we talked about last time, we wanted to talk about a further communication regarding the new school. Um, however, I do think because we are um, heading into budget season, we might want to really hunker down and focus on getting the word out about the budget and the the meetings and you know we can only do so many things so I, I do think that that should take a priority um, so I mean in the past there's been stuff in the school newsletter published there's been stuff in the town well last year there was there are things in the town newsletter that's really kind of the first year I think right mm -hmm. all right so I guess well, I'll coordinate with them. Uh, what is Yeah, I mean, I can give you the dates for the workshops that are coming up. Um, that would be fantastic. It's going to be a, two days. Um, and one is going to be in the uh, afternoon to evening time frame, And then a, another day is going to be in the morning. And the hopes of that um, is just so that people don't have to miss too much time off of work. Right. So. Some people might be able to only make it in the morning or some people might only be able to make it in the evening, so. Yes, okay. Um, do you want that now or do you want me to just email you? Uh, if you just want to email it to me and we can-, sure. we can um... Well, I guess I should also probably announce it publicly too. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, March, March 14th is uh, the first budget workshop. It's going to be held at the Wentworth Learning Commons from 4.30 to 7. Um, and then March 15th is the budget workshop um, in council chambers from 8.30 to 11. And which one, we have two that we have to be in on, right? Are those the two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, the purpose of those workshops, it's a presentation to the board okay. from all of our department leaders and all of our building principals in regards to next year's budget. Perfect. And the and the public can join that, correct? Yep, they're public meetings. Okay, great, wonderful. And and our last finance meeting, we were talking about um, hybrid, but I think we were still trying to figure out how it was going to work out for um, Wentworth and the Learning Commons to make that into a yeah, I think the way that we would have to, you know, we would have to do it would be using the OWL, um, yeah. which, you know, again, um, it, it's functional, it works. I, I think the challenging piece is the bigger the group or the larger the sized room, the smaller the faces on the OWL, right, for the viewers that are at home. Okay. Um, yeah. But, you know, I think that is probably as good as we can get. Uh, because as, as you all have come to learn, um, you know, if, if we have people all on Zoom um, in a room together, there's a lot of feedback um, from computers if people are forgetting to, um, you know, mute their computers, et cetera. So the OWL um, is, a, is a good solution for that. All right. What's the, what did you say the March 15th? 
March 15th, um, council chambers, 8.30 to 11.00. I'm really glad that it's my, all right. All right, council chambers. All right, great, thank you. Um, so maybe um, we can just see if we can get that um, published in the town newsletter and the school newsletter. Um, boy, it's already coming well, up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so next week. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll keep moving on from there. We can, um, there'll be other workshops, I think, well, not maybe workshops, uh, other, well, and of course all the budget meetings are public too. Yeah. In the past, I believe that the communications committee kind of put out a timeline of all of those dates into one document and and I think that has served to be helpful. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, if we took a look at what's been published in the past, that might be um, a template for you to update. Okay, perfect. Then that way people have that, you know, kind of beginning to end view. Um, right, because we know, you know, the date of the vote, and then, you know, we can work backwards from there and look at, you know, the, the different pieces, because some of the pieces are, you know, first reading on the school board side and second reading on the school board side, and then there's first reading on the town council side for them to accept it, and second reading from the town council side. So, you know, once, once we start hitting these two budget workshops, then there are a lot of, um, you know, lots of moving pieces. Okay. Can we get, can we get that up on uh, Facebook too? Cause you know, I don't know if people are reading all the, the newsletters with this information out there. Yeah. So if you do, uh, you know, if you do up, uh, you know, some type of, communication, we can absolutely get that on there. We can just, you know, that's an easy ask for Kelly Johnson to do. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, that would be a great idea too. Um, all right, well, I think uh, that's just gonna move forward with getting uh, that information out to the public. Um, and, you know, I think it wouldn't be too difficult to also get announced when the, the new school meetings are there one right now they're about once a month mm -hmm. with just a little blurb about what will be discussed. Um, I'll try I'll just try to get that out when that happens. Um, when the next date is, it's probably already set. Um, okay. Yeah, actually, the next building steering committee meeting is on Tuesday, March 15th in the evening. Oh, God, that's going to be a long day. It's a busy week because we have two budget workshops. There's the building committee meeting, and then it's a school board week as well. So <laughs> um, this is the time of year where everything just ramps up. Lots of moving parts in the spring in the schools. When did you say that, that was again? Um, the 15th? March, March 15th. Yeah. Okay. I'll get that on there. Uh, you know, I think it would be great to do additional gratitude message. When is uh, teachers week or is it teachers Usually week or teachers? Like the first week of April? May. May. First yeah. week of May. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. 
teachers. Okay. There was a there was a document uh, that would be actually good to create and update that and have a timeline for all this stuff. Um, bus driver appreciation is coming right up too, right? I don't know the date on that. I know that our schools try to do things like I know the primary schools, I think just recently did some things for bus, you know, to appreciate bus drivers. So I don't know that it's connected to a certain date or not. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I think, um, <laughs> then I think we should nurses talk. is also the same week as, uh, teachers week. Yep. Yeah. And generally in the schools, like they just call it staff appreciation week so that everyone is acknowledged, not just, you know, like subsets of groups, because that would feel awkward. Right. Um, so, you know, I think oh, most of all of the schools just have, you know, very inclusive acknowledgements for everyone. Great. Perfect. Um, yeah. All right, well, I think we can maybe get some things out. That shouldn't be too bad. Mm -hmm. We can even uh, use the column in the newspaper to maybe highlight some things. Mm -hmm. Have to think about what. Um, all right, so we have on here also to revisit launching the Spotlight Awards, which I think is really important. I think it might be a little much for the next month. Um, I don't know how you feel about it. it sounds like it's very involved, but uh, I do think it's really important and I would really like to see if we could maybe streamline that process a little so that it is uh, feasible on a you know monthly or um, maybe every other month basis. Yep. Has it, was it monthly in the past? It was monthly in the past. And, um, I believe what they, what the, um, the board had done was they had a Google form, um, that they widely shared so that, um, uh, folks could nominate people for Spotlight Awards. Um, yep. and so then, you know, those nominations would come to the committee and um, and then they would, you know, make some decisions and select um, folks or groups, right? Sometimes it was individuals, sometimes it, you know, it, it was a group or, um, you know, different ways of um, looking at who that was. And then, you know, at the time, um, I think April was the head of this committee that kicked this off and they would go to the schools and um, talk to the people who had nominated their peers and, um, you know, compile, you know, some video and some pictures so that there was a nice piece um, of acknowledgement. Okay. All right. And well, I mean, I that's something that we can also have um, Gabby help us with since she's already, um, in the schools, uh, well, she's gathering, you know, pictures and stuff for us for um, for our presentations too. So kind of just add that to. Yeah, we could we could certainly ask. Um, uh, well, both of them really, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Although it'd be really nice for us to be able to go into the school, it just it might not always be physically possible for us. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we can also rotate. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's four of us. I mean, if we did, if we each took one. Yeah. You know, we uh, we'll really only do two in a year two to three. So yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Well, maybe we can 
start gearing up for that after we get beyond all this March. Yeah. yeah, a lot. The budget stuff is is really a lot. Um, not that I know because I haven't been through it before, but it looks like a lot. I can also um, share with you if it's helpful the nomination um, form that's been used in the past. That would be great. Yeah, I'm actually just pulling that up on my other computer here. So then at least you have as a starting point for yourselves, um, you know, what, it, what it's looked like and wh if, whether you're comfortable with that or you wanna make changes, um, whichever. I will share that with you. Let's see if I can. What I'll do is I'll make a copy of it um, because the one that I have has responses in it, right? Because it was an active document. So I'll just make a, a copy of the form so that you can um, see that. And at some point, it probably would be helpful um, for you to have an, also um, have the information about who has received Spotlight Awards. Yes. Past. Right, so then that way we're not, um, you know, recycling the same individuals. Um, you know, not to say that they might not continue to be deserving, but you know, in a in an organization our size with 600 staff, um, you know, there's an opportunity to really, um, you know, go go broad um, and and diversify uh, the folks that are being um, highlighted. Yeah, and I, you know, I, it might be good to start a, a spreadsheet or something. Um, you know, who's been, maybe who's been nominated and who was selected, like, just so that, you know, maybe somebody's been nominated four or five times, you see that, but they've never been selected, um, might help drive some decisions. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be okay to say, you know, on the form, you know, would you be willing to collect, you know, some pictures of um, the person you're nominating if they're selected? I think, I mean, I think that's a decision for, for, for you to decide in terms of how you want to approach it. I, I think the, the reason or how it kind of came about was um, so that the board uh was acknowledging that person right um and so you know you get input from others but then it really you know came from the board in terms of um you know that acknowledgement so it, it might feel a little differently if the person who's nominating is also providing all of the stuff to you and then we're just hitting play i wonder you know if, if people might have a different oh. sense yeah, no, I mean, I, I mean, it just, you know, like there's some opportunities that we might not be able to right. get. I mean, I think we should go in and get the videos and, um, you know, there's like some action. St like, I'm just thinking, well, I mean, if it was a coach or something, I'm sure it would be pretty simple to get pictures of that person in action. Um, <laughs> going, I just am envisioning like, dude, go in and take a picture of somebody teaching uh, a class uh, is, you know, I don't, I don't know. You can certainly stage that. Talk to the cats, people. <laughs> what did you say? I said you can certainly stage that kind of motion, you know, that they're teaching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll have to reach out to people who. Yeah. Played. And I, it looks as though you um, both have access to the spotlight award folder. That's okay, in great. the communications committee um, drive. So if you take a look at that and you open that up, um, you know, I just made a, a new copy of the form itself. But if you open it up, it also shows you all kinds, like everyone who's ever gotten one. You have access to the oh, videos great. that were shared at the previous board meetings um, and all of that detail. So that can really help you. Um, you know, to get an idea of what it's looked like and then the spin that you might want to put on it. Okay. I'll take a look if 
find it now. But Leanne probably has a really good idea of, uh, I think she's in the past said that she had some good ideas. So hopefully Thank you. I can track her down. Great. I always love watching these. Yeah, they are really great. And, you know, again, to, you know, to see the staff members come to the meeting and, you know, bring family members with them. And, oh, it, and it's, it's, it's really um, a great celebration. Yeah, for sure. It can be a real tear jerkers. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, and do those get published also to the Facebook page or, I mean, would that be okay to do? I don't know if we've shared the videos on Facebook in the past. That might be, uh, you know, Kelly Johnson might be able to provide that information okay. um, for us. Um, certainly they become part of the, um, you know, uh, every all the school board meetings are recorded. So it becomes part of that. Yeah. But Kelly could tell us if, if they were posted on social media or, you know, shared in other ways. It'd be nice because even, you know, then they have like something to look at and screenshot it and take that home with them too. Yeah. 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 yeah I don't, you know, I don't know. Feels like uh, a nice way for the community to interact with what's going on in the schools. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Let's see, what else do we have? I did put in that, um, I did get the information about the school lunch program that you asked me about. Oh, I, yeah, um, I saw that. And so I, I kind of, I just pasted that right into the agenda so that um, I would have it. Um, you know, Cause it's kind of hard to manipulate like all of, all of this virtually, um, but yeah, so you know, as I shared with you at the last meeting, um, we are operating in the black at the current time. Um, and um, I think you'll see in our upcoming budget workshops when our food services director presents um, his information to you, we are serving more breakfasts and lunches than we ever have in the past. And because of, uh, you know, um, the nutrition program being free for all of our students. Uh, we have, um, it, it, it's benefited our program, right? Because we yeah. have more kids eating than ever and we get reimbursement for every single meal that we serve. Um, so, you know, so that has allowed us to operate in the black. Um, and, you know, as I noted in the agenda here, Right now we have a positive fund balance of about $170,000. Um, and uh, as you see um, in the upcoming budget workshops, we'll be looking to um, present a school nutrition budget for you that is fully funded um, without any tax contribution. And that really is quite significant um, because mm -hmm. in the past, you know, the, um, the district has had to you know, kick in several hundred thousand dollars at times um, to, e you know, to, to even out those accounts. Um, so, so that's a, a huge benefit. And we foresee that that will uh, continue to be the case at least through next school year, because um, the, the government is continuing to fund all meals for students through the 22-23 school year as well. That's amazing, really, truly. Yeah. What a great uh, thing to advertise. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. I know my kids are loving having school mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. Breakfast, whether I order it or not. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um. Yeah, and in the past, right? Like I know, having you know been a longstanding school principal for many years, and in, in the past, you know, we've had students who have um, enjoyed school breakfast, and their parents haven't known about that until they received you know, a monthly bill that was like pretty significant. And, you know, and I have had several conversations with parents during my career of why am I getting, you know, this bill, my child doesn't eat breakfast. And it's like, well, actually they have been going to breakfast every day. <laughs> Second breakfast. So, yeah. Yeah. So uh, um, that happened to us. So, yeah. yeah. So it's nice that it's, you know, completely inclusive at this point. Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, it, it really truly is. It's, that is really great. Yeah. Would it be um, helpful if we put out, if we were able to put out like every week, like don't forget to put in your lunch order. Um, just so that out. information is actually in our school newsletters. Um, in our, I, I believe so. I know that I've, I've read it, um, you know, a number of times and they have links for that. But yeah, um, I feel like I scroll through them and I, I, I think I bypass them mm -hmm. like naturally just just right. don't right. even know. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, when you see something on the wall when it's first there, yeah. um, you notice it, but then it kind of blends into the background over time. Um, but yeah, our numbers are really great. So I'll, I'm really excited for especially our um, department managers to share that sort of information with you as a board in the upcoming workshops, because I think you don't necessarily hear about some of our departments, right? We hear about what's happening at the school, um, you know, academically, but there are lots of other departments that really contribute to the su success of our organization and, and they don't often get to toot their horns. And, um, you know, I, I kind of operate as a liaison for, for several of those departments. And so I'm excited um, for them to, you know, to be able to share with you the great work that they're doing. Yeah, um, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. it's really incredible. In fact, the, the offerings, um, you know, there's been some really fun offerings I've noticed. I mean, we go through the whole month, all four ki kids, you know, get through the whole month Right. Because I can't remember every week. And, um, yeah. you know, some of the stuff I was like, wow, this is like, a little exciting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No. They do an excellent job. Yeah, they really do. All right. Well, uh, so strategy for communicating with the wider uh, community. So, um, we've been talking about this for a couple months. I, I, really would like to start publishing some things in the leader. Maybe um, budget time would be a good time to maybe put some highlights in, in a column. Um, oh, oh. Hmm. we lost Diane. <laughs> but it doesn't look like we stopped recording. That's good. Oh, you defaulted to host. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, it, I have the option to pause or stop it and I'm just going to leave it alone and the cloud still says it's recording so I think we're good yeah um okay we want to make sure if she wants to get back in mm -hmm. she can all right well um I again I I you know I really do want to get a column going I don't you know uh it's a lot of finessing I think, um, but budget time might be a good time to do that. Teachers week, you know, or, you know, staff appreciation week, um, even getting out there and saying staff appreciation week, this, 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 and this, I, I would love to really find a way to collect some information, like a, another Google form, um, submit so people can submit their own highlights, stuff that they'd like to have published. And we can kind of just pick, you know, maybe pick a couple of things from each area, you know, something from sports, something from academics, something from clubs, something from, um, you know, uh, 
you know, the, the elementary school, I mean, you know, yeah. or like an event that happened in like this concert. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 Stuff like that. I mean, I think I do really think that it's uh, the, the community really doesn't not, they're not aware of all the things that are great things that are happening that I don't know, their tax dollars are paying for, you know, Right. Oh, it's, you know, the kids concert. And I, you know, I think it's, I think that's a feel good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to con connect with the larger community. Yeah. Um, maybe the I, you know, we'd have to create a form and we'd have to, you know, get it announced and. Um, yeah. Isn't there um, like a, a run that's happening in April? Oh yeah, yeah. It's um. So every April, we there uh, the PTA does a um, um, uh. Yes, it's a race. Well, it's a five k. Yeah, whatever the race is. Um, um maybe we can highlight. I, I know what it is. I don't know why I can't. I'm blanking think of it. on it right now too. I'll look it up right. I've now. done it, and yeah. I've worked at it. Um. <laughs> Welcome back. Race to the point. Sorry yes, about race that. to the point. Yeah. Thank hey, you. Diane. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I have a, a loose um, charger connection with my laptop. Oh. It, does, it doesn't connect super tight. And so sometimes when I like, because I've been sitting here with my charger plugged in this entire time, but if it, you know, it's, it's loose. And so yeah. I might think it's charging and it's not. So I'm back now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's exciting for us. <laughs> uh, so we're we're just talking about once again doing some things with the uh, it's getting some information into the leader, um, you know, uh, by column and you know what that would look like. And I wondered if we could maybe do another Google form to put out in the newsletter, you know, I don't know, every month to try to get, uh, you know, departments to write in maybe something that they're doing. And then, you know, the yeah. student reports, we can pull some of that stuff in just mm -hmm. to highlight what is going on in our schools, you know, concerts and. Sure. Um, yeah. There's I mean, maybe lots going on. I would, I would think people would want to kind of, brag a little bit about the wonderful things going on in their classrooms and schools. And mm -hmm. so I don't think it would be too much of a burden to ask that. Um, but yeah, it just depends on like, I don't know what your limits are in, in terms of like word count or submissions. It's um, pretty, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of words, but you know, I was saying to Jenna, you know, maybe we go through it every, you know, every month when we get the responses and just oh you know a couple of sports things and a couple of academics maybe you know concerts and you know mm -hmm. events. um i was i love to hear about those things yeah uh, so yeah. it makes you feel good it makes you feel like it's part of the you're part of the community so right yeah and i think you know like uh my i don't know some of our elders who are you know don't get to see all this stuff might really appreciate that so um you know, again, I'd like to get it maybe a launch date uh, for not budget time. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to get a Google form. Like, what's your category, you know, like a category um, and uh, what happened? Just like a couple of quick things, you know, uh -huh. and, you know, category school, teacher, whatever. Uh, you know, yeah, can it minutes. maybe be an extra link in our newsletters? Like, do you have something that you want us to highlight? Like, put it in here now. Um, yeah, you know, you know, I think it's, I think that the benefit, yeah, to the Google form is it all populates out into a one easy to read thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in the newsletters go out weekly, but maybe we could just put it in once a month. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just because I think <laughs> there'd be so much. 
Um, or I, well, I hope there'd be so much. All right, so I'm gonna just keep this on the agenda. Uh, maybe we'll talk about it. I'll try to get a form created and you know maybe get that launched after we get through this period. Um, we could use that column though to talk about uh, the, the budget as well. I don't know if that's risky or not. Well, I think it's public information anyway. Yeah. So at yeah. least this way, um, anyone who wants to read about it, they can get a quick snapshot of it. They don't necessarily have to go yeah. looking and rewatching the finance meetings. And we'll just kind of yeah. pull yeah. out the like, bullet points. Um, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. And after, after this next, what is it? After the budget workshops, I can kind of I'll I can create a document and just kind of put a whole list of highlights from it um mm -hmm. or put it out there to to publish anywhere and then um yeah that might be something we maybe I could get John um in one of you know we could have a joint meeting and uh kind of coordinate with the town council about that uh since you know I work going to be required, you know, working with them anyway on that. Mm -hmm. uh, he just might have some ideas about how he'd like to communicate things. Yeah, no, and, you know, and, and keep in mind that, you know, as the school department, we are one department under the town. And so, you know, it, it is definitely appropriate for you as school board members to advocate for the budget, right? Yeah. Um, and I think that's always a place that people are unsure about, like, should we advocate for it? Should we just make people aware of it? But it's, it's, it's your department, right? And right. so your job is to advocate for the needs of the students. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We, you know, some really great wording, uh, you know, direct, but well-worded statements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely would love to publish, you know, when we're talking about the budget, like, you know, we're asking for uh, this, look at this great thing that happened with our uh, school nutrition program and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, now operating in, in the black. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think it's important to highlight that kind of thing. So, all right. Good. Well, well, I'll coordinate with John. I'll maybe invite him to our next meeting, see what he might have to say. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then the next. Oh, yeah. Re re routine formal requests from board committees. I mean, this has been on the last couple times. I, again, you know, I, we haven't heard from anybody. I, I think we're going to have to uh, maybe maybe on the tomorrow's slide. I'll say, you know, I want to remind uh, other committee members to please update anything you'd like to communicate. Um, I think since we update, since everybody kind of updates, um, does their report. Um, during those meetings if we don't hear anything from those other committees then we'll just kind of pull what was said during those meetings and and highlight that too yeah i mean i i think some sometimes there's not some of those are not super um heavy on the info oh information right. so, um okay well if they want i'm just you know a reminder you can ask us to communicate things and then the tools so we were talking about this already some of these tools um communication contacts the schedule uh, communication talk oh the communication timeline um if you have anything to add to that i wanted to update that I don't have anything to add right now, but honestly, this I one is had a whole ton of time to think about it. 
I know. I know. It's going to go have so to get fast. Better at it. I don't even know where February went. So, uh, all right. I mean, so that's that's nothing that needs to be really done today. It's just on the running agenda to try to um, get our tools a little streamlined. But this next month is going to be super busy. So I guess, I mean, that's really that's really all I have. If if you have anything that you'd like to bring up next meeting, I'd be happy to add that. But it sounds like we're going to just get through the budget. Um, all right. So I will talk to. Um, once again, the communication person at, at the town, um, who was really wonderful before. What is her name? Allison. Allison, thank you. I was going to say Andrea, and I knew that wasn't right. Right. You got the um, A, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, and just um, like a little blurb about the budget workshops, workshops coming up, and uh, when they are, where they are, and um, for that the public is welcome to join. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think cool. it has to be too much. Um, and then again, those will go in the school newsletter too. So mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, all right. Great. That's all I have. Any Anybody? I already asked that. Going once, going twice. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Good you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, should I hit stop? It's on my screen to.